Time to steal some dots from Kiv. <laughs> <laughs> you mean why half the chat is here? <laughs> oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I wanted to see the play art. Well, he'll take it out of his own end zone. And he will take over at the 28-yard line. And, and uh, it's funny that Mike's saying he, he's ready to steal some thoughts from uh, Skim because when I talked to Kiv about, hey, how do you feel about Skim calling your game, he said, I'll be interested to go back and watch the stream and see what Skim thinks of my game. <laughs> so, Well, I'll say this. Mutual respect there. I, I'm going to say this, and I don't say I think there's only three top, top players in the world. Kiv's on that list. Who's number three? I'm not saying the other two people. I'm not including myself. So first and 10 at the 28. Yeah, it's Young Kiv rocking that uh, 818 tag. What do we got for playbooks? Well, let me give you the playbooks real quick, Scott, if you want them. You know Just I want them. Go through these piles and piles of notes that I have here for you. Kiv's got New England on offense and multiple Multiple defense. on defense. And for suspect. I have no idea. He's going to be in the New England offense and the multiple defense. So, mirror, oh. good old school mirror match with the playbooks. Todd Madden, baby. So, Kiv will get it first. 20 minute game if you're just joining us. It's been an amazing day thus far. Just day one of four, all leading up to the championship on ESPN News. That's 8 p.m. there on February 2nd. And, and this is going to be wild. I'm expecting a high-scoring affair. Yeah, this is going to be a great game. And we already know so much about Young Kev. We've seen him time and time again. But Suspect's got a great story as well. Like we said, his brother is in this tournament. He's well aware how rare it is for him and his brother to be a part of the top 32 in the world at playing this. He's a guy that plays semi-pro football. He works full-time as an electrician. He has the family at home, a brand-new baby boy. He's got another baby on the way. I mean, this guy stays busy, but he's still able to play the game at an elite level. You got to respect it. Yep, first time Kivs ran a bunch to the wide side. Let's see what he goes with. Has time. Suspect sends the spy. And he'll throw it away. Might have had someone coming back across the middle, but he's going to throw it away, not risk a pick. So second and 10 here at the 39. Kiv trying to add to that. 183,000 that he's won over the years. Back to Bunch on the short side. Let's see if he's complacent with taking that dump down on the tight end. Thick. It's good defense. Kev rolling. It's phenomenal defense. There's nowhere to go. That was phenomenal defense right there by Suspect. That's the first time we've seen the defense actually play out. Kiv's hit the snap on the throw to the tight end. We finally got to see what the coverage looks like because he wants to try to make a big play happen. Now we have a third and ten. Big third down, bunch to the left. Thick. Quick throw, and there's Roberts that's going to bring up fourth and short. Here we go. Big play early for suspect. Always felt like as a defensive player, this is great for me. I get to see your money play early in the game on a fourth and three count. Yeah, you see Kiv going back and forth trying to get that stamina. Let his receivers catch their breath. Remember, there are no injuries either in Madden, so that's one thing that allows people to be a little more aggressive Ooh. with the, the volume at which you get these receivers the ball. They'll get tired, but they won't get injured. So here's fourth down, fourth and three. Thick, quick throw, and that'll move the chains at the 45-yard line. Big conversion. Even though he got that, if you're a suspect here, you have to remember that play down the road. That's his favorite play right there. He's been running it a couple times. Next time you get him in that situation, be ready to stop it. Expose in chat asks, is, is this the live event? Yes, sir. We are live in San Francisco here at EA headquarters. We still got a game after this. <laughs> and it's uh, well, Jay, Jay Wall, and, Jay Wall okay. and Ice. Yeah, I'm okay <laughs> with that. That's a good way to end the day. Uh, you see Kib with the run right there. Give his wide receivers some time to catch their breath. That's why he ran the ball right there. By the way, we're going to see the debut of Cookie Boy up here on the desk. Cannot wait for that. Dropped. It's going to bring up third down. Third and eight from the 43. Had him on a third and 10. Now he has him on a third and eight. You're not in field goal range yet. Your wide receivers are getting tired. 
You've been showing this defense that you're not really blitzing. I wonder if he's going to get greedy right here and try to send some pressure. Looks like the same thing when that nickel guy goes all the way back to the safety and they rotate it over. Vic looking. Kim thought about running. He will. And it's going to be another for Tapoy. Dangerous run with Kim. And the reason suspect, he told me that he likes those defenses where the safeties shift over or whatnot, is you can actually get your safety to align in the box and it allows you to cross man them from any position. That's sick. But here comes another fourth and three. Let's see if Kiv goes back to the same play he called on the last fourth and three. Short side again. Would be a 55 yarder from there, so he's going. Vic. Oh, he's got pressure. And throws it the other way, but it's still Roberts. And he's in the red zone. Ice in his veins. If you're a young kid, there's a defender coming free off the edge. You usually don't like to attack the middle of the field. That's where the user defender is. Throws his receiver wide open. Another big fourth down conversion. Boy, well, he's got time again. Oh, and somehow. Oh, got cracked. Snuck it in there. All the way down to the five. So he's had two fourth down conversions. And there he gets away with throwing it in the tight window. This young kid got dots. <laughs> now I want to see these dots in the red zone. This is why I'm here right here. Similar formation that Mo ran earlier. After the laser beam, it's going to be first and goal at the five. He'll hand it off to Gurley, and he'll walk in for the touchdown. I mean, that's just a prolific drive, and that's what we've come to expect from young kid. You give this kid the ball on offense, and he's able to get it done. And you see him also, like his boy Joe Rice, repping that 818 in that score HUD. Looking at Kiv's body language, that whole drive, would you ever said he was on two fourth and threes? No, not at all. I mean, he's going to be even kill. You know something about the experience, the poise, thinking about the next play yep. and only focusing on the next play. Kiv's going to check all of those boxes. I'll say that's what really took my game to the next level is when, when something good happens, next play, next play, next play. You can't get caught up in that moment. Yep, you're always playing your best Madden when you're thinking, what can I do on the next play to give myself an advantageous position? Kiv does it right there, gives it to Gurley, finds himself up 7-zip. So the opening drive for Kiv is a successful one. Takes up over three minutes, and now Suspect will get it for the first time. Well, he had Kiv on two fourth downs and gave up the first down both times. Middle of the field. Let's see if we see an inside zone or is he going to just come out dotting. Trips to the right. Here's the motion. Inside zone. He'll hand it off to Fournette. Oh, it's it's a block wrong. on the outside. Ooh, he wanted Randy to hold a block a little better right there. And you can suspect Suspect to be very prolific. This is a young man who's played quarterbacks on all types of level. He was a court all state high school quarterback for four years, coached his team to a national championship in high school as an assistant coach. And now he plays semi pro where he's the quarterback. His team won the championship and he's won MVP of the semi pro league four of the last five years as a Q. So this is a guy that's going to have a very high football IQ. All right, chat, who you got? You got Kiv or Suspect in this game. This is the NFC West, Ohio. Niners, Seahawks. Suspect Ohio. down a touchdown, and this is his first drive. Plays for the Lincoln Way Patriots. Number two in the nation in the power rankings, he says, in the semi-pro football league. There's Jason Taylor. He'll get in there and force a second and 19. Well, you can hear those adjustments. Click, 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 like the Predator out there. <laughs> Ohio! Ohio! Phenomenal series. <laughs> Ohio! Ohio! I can get RG on any tangent, Skim. Oh, I, I, I usually I, go with brisket. Brisket is usually the, <laughs> no, the, the I, easy I, one. I've heard you guys go. <laughs> Sending heat. Oh. Heated that one. Just to make it third and somewhat manageable when you talk about Madden. But still, you need a 16. Well, even if you get half here, I mean, that's that's a Madden move. Kid really like. Is this the 4-3 defense he's in right here? No, I, I believe he's in a nickel is normal. It, it's a nickel because that cornerback is in. He's in the it? nickel, yeah. Ohio. Ohio. Well, again, he's like Mo. He's controlling that nickel back. It's just going to be a stock four-man rush game. 
I don't know. He just sent the two linebackers last down. Let's see if he tries to send more pressure again. Just oh, a four-man rush. Two spies. Ray, two Ray. spies. And wide he's open. Wide open. Two spies? You got to send the heat on third and 16, I would think, huh? You got to send the missiles. Who am I to be questioning Young Kiv? You can question Young Kiv. I shouldn't be questioning Young Kiv. No, Kiv. I can't. He's the rainy champ. <laughs> you do got three belts. Yeah. No one else has two yet. It's pretty good. Ohio. I'm not ready for someone to have two just yet. I mean, he, he's serious. He, the, the quote he said is, that if I win this tournament, I pass Skimbo in career earnings of the MCS. I have two belts. And then the quote was, and then things get interesting. He wants to be in that conversation, he's doesn't he? He's coming for you, dog. I've always thought he should have been, too, to be honest. Uh, he's had some opportunities. You've ended a couple of his roads, Skimbo. You know you did. At the end of one, it is Kiv 7, <laughs> suspect nothing. But he's got the ball. He has an opportunity to go down here and time this thing up with a touchdown. But he's mirror offenses, mirror defenses. But that man on the right in that Seattle Seahawks uniform, he's got a, he's got a lot of Madden under his belt for the youngster. The suspect wants to join Canes, his brother, into the round of 16. 15 minutes still to go in this one. First and 10. Scott Cole, RG, Mike Skimbo. One three wide again here at the desk. Trips to the left. Motion across the formation. Looking for the backside drag. McNabb has it. Ooh. Ooh, decides to go to the second level. That's Dion. Dion. He's been perfect with the McNabb so far. That's got to be that gunslinger. Yeah, that it looked like the gunslinger animation. Oh, that gunslinger. The Arukin coming out. That ball comes out fast. I love that Dion Sanders at wide receiver, just because he is such a he's a pretty low cap for being that fast. A ton of players have that prime time on the roster here in the tournament. And Shannon <laughs> maybe got away with one. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear Kiv, but he was like, ooh. You saw Kiv make kind of a pass like that on drag. Uh, suspects had his defender make that kind of animation. No pick. Same thing. Animation, no pick. Second and seven now. Ball at the 30. This is just day one. We got a long way to go in this tournament. Oh, we got to be careful. Ooh. When you talk about that prize pool, I think one of the reasons this is sort of the apex of the season. Oh, we got four majors. Madden Bowl is going to be bananas. Challenge is incredible. But it's because the road is so tough. All these single elimination games you got to win. That's why it's a $700,000 prize pool. That's why the winner is going to take home 100 grand on February 2nd. Yeah, no group play to save you here. McNabb. One cut. Oh, here we go. Fourth and one. Huge fourth and one. Oh, this is going to be a big play right now. And it's all, for, going for it on fourth and one to me is always so much scarier when you know you're going up against an elite level player like a young kid or a skimbo or whoever it may be because you know they have defense for this situation. This is something they just, prepared for. This is the money play. You have to remember this down the road if you're Kiv. He's going to go to the air. McNabb. Everything's lost. Everything's, Everything's back. Everything's back. He He'll just has to throw. Oh, he's got Rome. It's picked off, and he's he gone. might take it to the oh, house. He's on his horse. He's the gone. 50, the 40, 30, tries to click on. 20, 10. Let's go. Come Bye, on. Felicia. Touchdown, Kev. Oh, man. And you know when they tell you in football, it's fourth down. You just got to throw it up. Give your guy a chance. Well, that is one of the downsides of doing that. You gave Kiv's guy a chance to take it back for the pick six. Was that not the most perfect defensive adjustments? Everything, Everything was bagged. Was bagged. Nothing, Every... nothing was open. No, there was nothing open. <laughs> and young Kiv, he's just so phenomenal. One thing I don't understand, Mike, is how isn't this young man on an esports organization yet? I know that's something you just kind of got involved with. Yep. What's going on? Yeah, man, just recently I signed with a company called Lazarus. They hit me up. Great people. Great, you know, everything was great about the situation. They've been nothing but awesome to me. Phenomenal. It's about time that someone went out and got you. So shout out to Le Le Lazarus. 
any advice for the other younger players out there? What do you need to do to get uh, involved with just, that type of stuff? Honestly, just keep winning. Don't ever rush it. Don't feel like you just need to sign. Like with me, you know, it just finally felt right, and that's just why I tell them, just make sure it feels right. Well, we got a ton of people out there in the Twitch chat. Over 20,000, and a lot of people asking, like, hey, how do I get a part of these Twitch drops? Well, you got to link your Twitch account, and once you do that, you can earn Madden Twitch drops throughout the show. And we got a, some tremendous moderators in there that can easily walk you through it. We got a two touchdown ball game here. RG Skimbo, Scott Cole with you here. We got 301 left in the first half. And this feels like a dangerous moment right here for Suspect. Oh, super dangerous. I, I got to ask Kiv if he wins after this game, why do we lurk on the corner? I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, it's a different look that everyone's not used to. Oh, he's got A. Oh, boy, going up top to show. Might be a pick. He picked it. He picked it. He yicked it. Who just made that play? Ed Yickson. Reed. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting me an Ed Reed. <laughs> he was on the ground and got up, didn't he? I've heard several players talk about that. What, what is it? The Snow Beast Ed Reed. He's like a 96 overall. They don't even power him up. They just throw him out there. He's got tons of speed, tons of coverage, hit power, and obviously the hands to get the INT. That was huge. Holy cow. Kiv is looking unbelievable right now. He rolls out. Throws it underneath to Roberts. Must have been one of his favorite targets thus far. 70% throwing for 70 yards. Yeah, this is where you're, Kiv. You know the situation. You're taking all this clock. You don't care if you get seven here. You want to make sure you at least get three. Make it a three-possession game going into, you know, the second half. Boy, not a fan of that deep ball to Sharp. Just You can't get all those 14 back in one play. And now Suspect. And, and he's, in, he's in a tough spot here, RG. The other thing with Kiff, too, is I want to call out, you see, saw him throw it to Roberts. I'm like, who's Roberts? I haven't seen him on anybody's team. That's a 60-cap Andre Roberts. Uh, sure. Everybody knows him. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, who is this? But he gets nine. I believe he gets 98 speed once you have that sprinter cam, and it's only 60 caps. So they found themselves a little gem right there in the salary cap mode. And it's not all about the stick work and the game plan. Roster building is a skill. And Kiv, Mo, um, Crush, and Joe Rice obviously did a phenomenal job with their roster building. Yeah, that's one thing I love about salary cap from even a casual uh, perspective. It's not like, you know, it's not like Mud Unlimited where, man, so many options, you know, but you can pull in and build your team based on your really your gameplay and that's yep. the cool thing is you have a lot of advantages Mike and then yep. you got a lot of weaknesses out there and it yep. sort of feels more like regs than any other mode I know for sure and here's the thing Kiv is probably the best in the business at finding these little gems and putting together a lineup a lot of time a lot of people in the community copy exactly what Kiv is doing with his lineup open. Oh my they, they need they're copying what he does on the field too he's all the way down to the 23 little Pat sell I've never seen him run that play before. Oh. <laughs> no one I saw interest in right there. It made it seem like Kiv has his ball carrier coaching adjustment on aggressive. I'm going I'm to say this about Suspect. He's done it already, I think, five times this game. Kiv has taken his tight end dump down, but he has yet he has yet to try to go for a hit stick. You have to get your, the ball back. You can't. You got to stop doing the conservative tackle. If he breaks and scores, it happens. But right now, you need a, some something to give you some kind of life. You know what it is with Suspect talking with him. He doesn't have a ton of hitters on the team, Mike. He really built this team around speed in the secondary so he can mix in man coverage, mix in some press coverage. He was talking about maybe going to some cover zeros. He just hasn't had the chance having to play catch up to Kiv this entire time. Hand it off to Gurley again. This is Kiv, man, taking that clock. He's cool with it. He's cool with taking three here. Yeah, the time's everything for him right now. He's going to make it a three score game. Well, 17 possibly here at the half. Oh, yeah. And that it, pick six. I mean, he, he's mm. too good to give him any sort of free points. No, you can't do that. And this is kind of like when we talk about separating the skill gap, this is one of them right here by Kiff. Taking the clock, making sure he takes it all. Suspect's not going to get the ball back, I don't think, to end this quarter. And this right here is what separates a lot of top players. As simple as this looks and obvious, a lot of people get caught up in the moment when they get on that stage. Yep. Well said, Mike. The simple stuff is so often overlooked or taken for granted. Let's go! 
And Gurley, oh, he'll take forget that. about it. He'll take oh. seven anytime. Oh, he'll take that. It doesn't matter on that one. Unbelievable. And I asked him, I said, about the scouting, you're so well scouted. Aren't you worried about, you know, people getting hit to this gun bunch, being able to lock you up? And he said, you know what, gee, the scouting doesn't bother me because if I execute, they can't stop me. Where the scouting hurts the most is on defense because I'm going to call, obviously, certain defensive plays for certain situations. And that's where people can really get the bulk of their scouting done. But he said, as far as offense goes, as long as I'm making the right read, there's nothing you can scout. There's nothing you can do. I'm the only one that can stop myself. And so far, he hasn't stopped himself Here's at all. Here's the replay again, and you're right. Makes a man missing. Gets in there, makes it 21 to nothing. Flex round, flex round. Dominance in the first half here flex by round, Young Kim. Suspect gets ball coming out of half. He's got to get some kind of points here to end it. Let's see if he's going for it all up top. McNabb. He'll run with McNabb. Call your timeout. It's one of the few guys that didn't go with Michael Vick. Yeah, I, I mean. Once the right hand quarterback, that's maybe a little old school move. That can cost you, though. I wasn't big on Vic to start the year, but the more I saw how this Madden plays, I, I just knew you ha you really do have to have Vic at your quarterback, in my opinion. I mean, he's got a 75% usage rate in this entire tournament. 24 out of the 32 teams rocking with Mike Vic at the helm at quarterback. Might have to adjust his cap a little bit before we get to that uh, yep. the Madden ball. Still looking for his first points here in San Francisco for I'm serious about this. This is the home team. This is the 49ers here. We're we're in yeah. their backyard. If I'm suspect, you got to see if he's on aggressive. He sheds. He's getting on the outside or just in the backfield immediately. Yeah, if you're playing Madden on a high level and you don't have the fake snap in your arsenal. Again. You're not doing it right. And he didn't fake snap. I know we're running out of time, but come on. You could get a free play. So fourth and five. <laughs> And the clock will stop with 23 to go. Did and Kiv call that timeout? Kiv's thinking about it a little more. <laughs> yeah, he's, the suspect's going to have to punt. Kiv's going to get a chance to return the ball here. You see the look on the face. The, the face gets a little warmer. You start to get a little flush. And a lot of that's because things aren't going your way, Mike. Yeah, I know. He's just thinking, how can I get back in this game right now? And he's thinking, I get the ball coming out of half. It's five-minute quarter game, not four-minute quarters. You're going to have time. You're going to have time to make a run. You've had him on two fourth downs his first drive. You, you've shown that you can get him on a fourth down. So you just got to get off the field, and then, of course, you have to score. Zero points is never a good thing, obviously. Good punt as well, too, right there. I mean, that, that's for starters. you got to punt the ball, not give Kiv a chance to return it, get himself some more points. So punting often overlooked in Madden, but that was yeah. very good punt right there by suspect. If, if you're a competitor at home right now, and you were looking to get over the top to end a half. You need to watch what Kiv's doing right now. Well, you can't let him score here. Everything It would be up. over. Let's see if he playmakers up. He does. Oh, he's going. And overthrows everyone. That's a low risk, high reward, because if he would have picked it, he probably would have gotten tackled and been at the 20 yard line with 10 seconds or something like that. And if you do catch it, you're in field goal range. Suspect will get the ball to start the second half. Sending the house right here. You see, you're seeing the game from Suspect's is, point is of view. Spinner? I put the guy on the left on a fade and just give him a chance. Boy, almost got a wild block shed there. Vic's still on his feet and will just throw it away. What Suspect's doing is he likes to go into that nickel over G, and that's what he's coming out in. And he says one of the things he loves about it is the in individual adjustments that you can put your safeties on are actually different in the over G formation as they are compared to any of the other formations. You can actually get your safety in a, a deep third on the outside um, within that over G. So that's a little glitchy something he found there, but not enough. Well, we're here at the half, 21 to nothing. You can check out the new club championship theme game day program. Get some of the guys here in the MCS. Yeah, yeah, there's a problem right there. You can get Madden Pro players, coaches, MCS uniforms, and some exclusive mutt content. You can get it right now out there. And what a first half. 21 to nothing. Unbelievable. It's been all Kiv. Here at the half, but we got two games going on here. And for more on that, Rico, bring us up to date. Hey, thanks, Scott. We have T. Davis and Needy going at it. 
the Rams and the Cardinals. They've had some amazing action going on. As you can see, everybody's here, locked in in the Players' Lounge. We got it going on here. And speaking of having it going on, it all starts with Needy and his Rams. And he was able to find that end zone early. As soon as he passed that ball, look at that hurdle. He should be in the Olympics, not in Madden. But look at T. Davis, a little bit of a, ah, but can't get down on yourself, especially when you have Vic in that offense. He moves the ball, gets the first down, and then breaks a tackle or two and ties that game right up. And as you can see, Needy feels a little bit of hurt too, but he feels a whole lot more hurt when he gets that pick. And as you see, he takes it to the house. And once again, Needy had his eyes open there, but didn't have it when he was playing on offense. <laughs> now, T. Davis takes the half lead, 17 to 10. It stands, his T. Davis stands for touchdown. TD all day. Back to you guys. Right you are, Rico. So that's a close one over there, 17 to 10. In our ball game, it's 21 to nothing. I'm not ready to count suspect out. I know his offense is living up to his name, very suspect, <laughs> but uh, you can't count anyone out this early. There's still 10 minutes to go. The problem for him is you're going up against young Kiv, so it's not just any ordinary Madden player that you got to come back against. You got to come back against the top three player in the world, top one to two, maybe three player in the world. Who knows where he falls in that, so it's going to be a tall task. Honestly, suspect on defense hasn't looked bad th that bad. He's gotten him on a couple fourth downs. However, where's your offense? You've scored no points in, in the whole first half. You have to do better. Yeah, he's actually tied with you right now. You're not even playing. We don't. We don't you know, we he's got to get it going here in the second half. Here we go. Twenty-one to nothing. And they're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready for you, my man. And this is a huge, and I, I can't say that enough, huge opening drive of the half for Suspect. Yeah. Must score, must get seven. I always hate saying, even in the third quarter, that's the ball game. However, if Kiv gets a stop here, I'm going to have to say that's the ball game. Well, you got to go with the experience factor here, too. I mean, this is Suspect's first ever MCS live event that he's played in. Where young Kiv, this is his eighth. MCS live event he's played in, and that's not even counting the live event that he made in Madden 16. So he's really been in this situation nine times compared to Suspects 1. Let me ask you a question, RG. Do you still consider Kiv the youth? Well, no. that's what I was going to ask. At what point I mean, does, does no. is he just Kiv? Like, at no. what point do we drop the young off? It's just a habit, but you're not. He's the Kiva. He, he's, a grizzled, is he's, a, he's a grizzled He's a grizzled veteran. I mean, he's got nine... Nine live events. I mean, it ain't young. It ain't young. It ain't young. Allen's young. You're going to see him later. Yeah, we'll see him tomorrow in the opening game. Allen versus Turbo Jeff. That's going to be a bonkers way to start day two. And then we'll start to move into the round of 16. We got a long way to go. Four days of Madden, and there's a quick throw by Suspect, and he'll move the chains. I'm not putting GG in the chat right now. There's no way. Yeah, he's got to pick it up. He's got to score. Like I said, it's a five-minute quarter game. It's not your four-minute quarter game. You might play online. This is five-minute quarters. Only a 30-second play Excel clock. I mean, you're going to be OK. You're going to have some time, but you have to score here. Got to figure out the over G at some point here. And I think I go back to some fake snaps in here. It wouldn't hurt. Oh, yeah. The block sheds have been bananas. And there is Shannon Sharp. It's going to bring up a second and five. Yeah, you see Kiv playing this bend but don't break defense, giving these drags sometimes across, not giving up the deep play. And it helps when you're getting block sheds like that because the deep play, you won't even know it's there because you're in the backfield so fast. Big nab. Cover zero. Going up top. There's the click on. No. Out of bounds. And that's a difference. And what you'll see in much salary cap right there, Kiv went to a cover zero uh, zone hybrid man to man type defense. And then regs are in normal mo in normal regs. You can't play man to man like that. Your guys are going to get toasted. Right. But in Mutt, when you have the personnel with these 95, 96 speed corners all over the field, it gives you the luxury of playing more man coverage. And right now, and what's and what what sucks honestly for suspect. Oh, here we go. That oh, might be a no. boy. That's that's lucky that. 
he's going to face a fourth down here. Right now, and I've been in this situation, you, he, he might be seeing a defense he's never seen before with this cover zero, right? So right now, he might be trying to find labbing ways during a game for a chance to win $100,000 later on on how to get over the top of a coverage, and it's just not working out for him right now. Yeah, you got to run what you practice. If you haven't practiced something, Skim, now is not the time. He continues to have a fade. He continues to have a deep crosser. He's trying to get over the top. And it's That's going to be a good. turnover on downs. He's getting overwhelmed by Young Kiv. This defense is for real. Poor Tony Powell from Crete, Illinois. As you know, he uh, he was the coach for uh, Treadwell on the Vikings, a wide receiver first round draft pick a few years back for those Minnesota Vikings. And I'm going to be surprised if I see a pass. Yeah, if you're Kiv, you just what do you run this just ball? Just trying to get out of here. Thirty seconds off the clock every time. Settle for three if you need to. I don't know what do I know though. He's probably going to keep trying to air it out. You, you might want to stay in rhythm. Taking all that clock, that's nice. I love that. Obviously. A little last second flip. Oh, hit the camera toggle. <laughs> and that's roll. We'll run again. And we're seeing the view of suspect. I don't want to see that view though. Probably going to see a pass play right here. You just had your run blown up. Oh, two clock is on. Let's see if he hurries up a snap right here on a pass play. Third and three. Trying to get a new set of downs here. And he is. Wild. Nope. Nope. Got Good the defense. Good defense. Boy, there's a. Oh, that could have been a Wow. Should have been a sack. That would have pushed him out of field goal range. Yeah, Kiv's been taking his time. Been throwing dots left and right. He he had two clocks still on, hurried up a snap, didn't have the play that we probably wanted to really have, but he had to snap it quick so he didn't take a delay game. Well, you know we got the inside information. We always do. Last night at dinner, young Kiv, that French onion soup. I'm don't, telling you, there's some players me. in the players' lounge right now. Don't get me that, going on the French onion at that hotel. It was banging, dog. I love me a good French onion soup, Was that too. soup pretty good over there? Dude, the French onion soup was by far the best thing on the menu at the Pullman. Really? I like the street tacos. I wasn't feeling them tacos. Oh, come on. I think I had 10 of them. <laughs> He's not lying. I'm well, not. <laughs> well, we're on the subject. I, I asked my dude, uh, Tony, what his favorite meal was. He said, Chinese hibachi. I love seafood. But the main thing I could do... As I have a homemade chili, I bring the whole semi-pro football team over. We watch football, and everybody goes in. He says he's got world-class homemade chili. Ohio! Ohio! I've looked well, at I, hope it, I hope it's a little better than his offense right now. We got a 24-0. And I, I'm telling you, it's dominance, and that's part of the story. I mean, you talk about a Joe Rice, you talk about a young Kiv. These are top five players right now. Crush. And Madden and that crew's looking good. I know Mo just came up short, but that crew is looking really good. Yeah, and Mo, it's not like Mo looked bad. I no. mean, that was a that was probably the game yep. of the day. I mean, straight we had strafing and drag. There was a lot of good games, but that game was phenomenal. He's going up top. There's Tyree King run Rome. pass up. Touchdown, suspect. All right. Go for two here. Here's the thing. You go for two, you make this two-possession ball game, and we got business. I'm going to say this real quick. You finally found something to get over the top of this cover zero defense. You found it down 24-0 to zero with 156 left in the third. It's a little too late. I'll tell you what. If he can get this two-point conversion, it may not be because we know young Kiv's offense isn't built for just milking the clock away. And if you can make a play, if you're Tony on defense, you've played decent defense, you can get yourself back in the game. We saw what Drag did to strengthen. You got to get this, though. You have to this get is this. This is huge. This is huge. Biggest play of the game so far. High formation, double tight end. And he'll hand it off to Ford. And he's in. And the former LSU Tiger will make it a two-possession game. Let's go. LSU. Oh, I can see the look in his face. He's thinking this was open on offense this whole time, <laughs> and I didn't know about it. I told you those coverage zeros, man, coverage. And you know what it is, Skim? Everyone's used to practicing against that zone coverage. Everyone wants to sit in oh, a cover yeah. two, a cover three, a four. And obviously, I'll say this about Kiff. He's seen it. He probably won't give that up the rest of the game. But what is that going to open up now? It's going to open up more drags and crossing routes. And, and it's a little too late. Are you still going to take these drags? And here you go. You see Kip throwing the ball right away. Not built. 
to really milk that clock away. Plenty of time in this third. We still have the whole fourth suspect with three timeouts, two possession ball games. I mean, we've seen crazier things happen. Oh, man, the body language. He doesn't like where he's at right now. He's a little upset with himself. Needs to stop. Looks focused. Needs oh, Kim he, to make oh, a mistake. You've had him on a couple fourth downs. Can you get him back on it? No, what you're thinking right now, if I if I didn't throw a pick six, where would this game be? It's a good point, Scott. First and ten. Pretty good defense. Hell oh my. Oh, you can't let the Vikings get loose like that. No spy in the middle of the field. He knows something about comebacks, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, there's drag. Needs some drag magic. Boy, drag just had to get out of there. He, he's a... Incredible competitor. Got a, nothing but respect for him. And he has a lot of respect for Strafen. But that game was over. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> he's like, I'm getting off this stage. Yeah, Madden can do that to you. I mean, most Madden players do that. When you lose a no, tournament, there's a high percent that just get out of here. And that's funny because when I go to other esports events, everybody stays in the crowd and supports each other and holds hands and sings kumbaya. Not, not on the virtual gridiron over here. I know. Hey, but, you know, you get back in the players' lounge, what's done is done, your day's come to an end, but he's got a front row seat to this whole thing. He also has a great supporting system, not only with his family, but his crew, and I'm sure he wants to be here for his boys. Second and nine. Suspect has to get Kiv off the field here. This will take it to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. 24 to eight. Wow. Not in field goal range. Definitely not in field goal range. Yeah, this is going to be a big third down at the start of this fourth quarter. See someone asking in the chat, is there a mercy rule? No, not at this level. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. They got to work that clock 24 to 8 you gotta, here at the end of the third quarter. You got to make them tap out, Scott. <laughs> you want the mercy rule. There's no, nothing in for it. You can make your opponent tap out. That's about it. I was waiting it. for a UFC reference. I knew it was coming at some point. And, uh, you know, Skimbo, you haven't been in this situation a lot, but he's down 24 to 8. You have life. You this definitely have it. life right now. This you, is it right now. You can't now. give up a first down. Kim, all day. This is good back. defense. This all is very day. good defense. Can he get Vic, though? You got to make this tackle. No, oh, he's too slow. The Vickens. That's why 75% of people have a Vic. And it's not just any Vic. Remember, it's an 11.75 cap and salary cap. Young Kim spent 128 of that cap on Mike Vic alone. That is the best Mike Vic in the game. And the reason oh, he's why he's up. That Mike Vic is gassed he's, up. He's got conductor, he gunslinger. Gun he's got he's got both the abilities. Wow. He's got the sprinter that gets him to who knows what speed. I mean, he is not messing around when it comes to the Mike Vic he's using. That's the most oh, yeah. expensive one on the market. No, Kiv is the best in the in the business about building a lineup. He's oh, gone. Gosh. He's gone. Oh gone. boy. To Ooh. the house. Oh, no, Ixon. And he'll be down at the nine yard line. Havoc 17 in chat says, I love these pre recorded streams. Well, it's 520 we live. here on the West Coast. We live, here baby. In live. San Francisco. What is and, you right doing, now, baby? And right now, Kim is lit. What is you doing, Havoc? We live. 24 to 8. And this would be the exclamation point. And he'll hand it off to Gurley again. And Todd Gurley spins his way in. And it is all young Kiv. Oh, man. Kiv's looked good, man. He's looked good on every aspect. When we're asking Kenny Clock, he just clocked. Can he go to a run game? He just went to it and just got a touchdown off the run game. Two of them now, I think. Oh, my God. His game is just all around great. You're not lying, Mike. God, he really might pass me. When was the last time you guys did battle? Was it that online elimination for the Madden Challenge? We're not talking about You don't it. want to talk We're about that? We're not talking about that online game, Draft Champions. We will never talk about that You guys that were game. talking last night at dinner saying, I don't want to face you online. <laughs> uh, I'll play you at a tournament. But oh, I don't want man. to put an online single a limb. Nobody wants that. But what, to be real, it came down, it was Mike Skim versus yeah. Young Kiv in last year's Madden Challenge, and the winner of that game made it to the live event. 
And Skim lost a close one. Kiv ended up making the finals of that event before he lost to Drini. Yep, and he doesn't make the last event that he won if he doesn't beat me. If he doesn't beat you. But That's a good point. Hey, I'm glad he won it. I'm telling you, he's when I talked to him, Mike, before this event, he is dead serious. It is a real goal for him to pass you in career earnings. He is well aware of this statistic. He's the one that brought it up. Yeah, as he should be. He's coming for you. I never thought Skimba would be the Jack Nicholas of the Madden world. All those belts. Trying to chase the champ. Suspect. Oh, that, ooh, that a that's safe a safety. safety. Get the floaties. Ooh. If you're wondering why we're not switching to the next game, it's because the other game is over. And Rico will be bringing us up to date soon on what the conclusion was. You know, Scott, I got to call you out on something. Bring it to me. Before I won my first belt, <laughs> you had this joke, and my parents loved it. <laughs> you know why Skimbo wears shorts all the time? Because he can't afford a belt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he busted that I, out. Oh, man. I've gotten, I don't know, have I gotten more savage the older I got, RG, or is it the same? Or? I think you're I think you mellowing out. You, okay, used, to be, right. you used to be real yeah. savage. <laughs> you, you haven't thrown enough shade today. He used to be a real safe. He used to throw jabs at me up here. He, 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 nobody was safe from the coal train for a while. He, he's mellowed out some. <laughs> I think I was hanging around Farrells and Gibbs too much. Those are my guys. Oh, I miss Farrells and Gibbs. They're out there in Atlanta. They'll be doing uh, oh, Madden. Radio Row. It's crazy. Yeah, Madden Daily drops tomorrow. They're committed. Two pioneers in the Madden community as well. I mean, those guys just brought so many members into the community and okay. showed them what we're about and continue to be a positive influence. Big shout out to Farles and Gibbs, two legends in okay. the Madden world. I remember before I got started, they had that little show on Twitter. Twim. Twim. Twim's um, amazing. Twim, yeah. When I was Only like 150 <laughs> episodes of it or something <laughs> like Twim. that. When I was trying to get in the Madden, I came across their episode somehow in like Madden 13. I was like, who are these guys? I'll tell you, when I was coming up, we were all jerks. Nobody wanted to stream. We weren't giving any tips. Uh, it was all secretive. It was like a secret society. They were the first ones that said, you know what? We're going to stream. We're going to show people what we're about. And the amount of people that they've brought in into the competitive atmosphere and to help grow this sport, it's undeniable. To me, the first ballot Hall of Fame is just for what they have done for the community. And not only that, they're great guys. Good great, guys. Great people to be around. Well, the producers didn't tell me to read it, but I'm going to read it. You want the latest information on Madden 19? You can join Farles and Gibbs every morning at 1030 Eastern for Madden Daily Drops on Twitch. So if you're, if you're looking for a place to be, they give you everything. Ultimate team program, title updates, X's and O's. Tomorrow morning, 1030 a.m. from Atlanta. That's our guys rocking and rolling every morning. I gave y'all Tony's favorite meal. What is Kiv's? Any guesses on Kiv's favorite meal? Say Chinese food. I'll give y'all each one guess and then I'll let it rip. It's from Seattle. <laughs> so the meal's probably passive aggressive somehow. There's some good food in Seattle though. I, I ate at this little sweet waffle place in downtown Seattle. I gotta get you out there, RG. I know. I know. Um, young Kiv. Look at Sky's dead serious. I know. He He's wants dead to get serious. <laughs> it's like ramen. It's something simple. Ramen. No. It, it is, it, you want to guess? I already guessed Chinese food. Spaghetti and meat sauce. Oh, I, dude, I, what, I, I, I would be down for that. With either Italian sausage or meatballs, and you need the Parmesan cheese. And then the other backup is a medium rare steak. It either, either could uh -huh. be filet mignon or the New York strip. But if you're feeling feisty, you get the porterhouse because that gives you the best of both worlds. Well, it's it's over. Hey, I, I'm down for all recipes. If Kiv wants to share a few recipes with us, he's headed over to the desk right now. It is 33 to 8. 33 to 8. Young Kiv over suspect. He's making his way over. And there won't be a lot to say here in a 33 to 8 ball game as he gets the headset on. And boy, it's. Maybe a little bit of a business trip at this point for young Kiv here in the NFC West. And what can you tell us? The wheels fell off the wagon for suspect, but you had a lot to do with that.
Yeah, my defense played really good. I didn't really have to do anything on offense because my defense was balling. So that's how that game went. Um, the game versus Decroft in the club series like a couple weeks ago, um, that really prepared me for this game. They both run trip side end, and my trip side end defense originally got exposed by Decroft. <laughs> I, I, That's was, a good way to put it. He was moving the ball really well on offense, so I had to get in the lab and I had to find something, and I found some good defense, and it, it came out and it balled out today. Kev, you, you do this time and time again. Is it fair to say when you're at your standard, it's championship or bust in this event? Yeah, that's how I, I always am. I always want to end on a win. Like, I always am going for that belt. I'm going for that money. Uh, that's just how I am. I, I don't want to lose ever. Trying to catch this guy in career <laughs> earnings. <laughs> I really want to ask one more question. Hey, go for it. Why we lurk on a corner? Because uh, trips tight ends. Got an unguardable route. Come on. I got, right. I got to pull out all the scum tactics. <laughs> well, we'll see you tomorrow in the round of 16. Congratulations to Kiv and the Seattle Seahawks. Rico, what happened?